Hey guys, um, sorry for the staining on my eye. I played with blood sugar palette yesterday, but enough of that. Um, I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about a very sensitive subject, so be warned. Do not watch this video. Um, if you can't deal with miscarriage or anything to do with that. But I wanted to talk to y'all about my Miss Miscarriage story and what all I went through. Well, as y'all know, I found out I was pregnant a few months back. And I've been going to a pregnancy center here in South Texas. And I have all my sonogram paperwork. And every time I went, they could never find the heartbeat. It was inconclusive. The heartbeat was always really low or extremely high. Um, and one of the sonograms, I have the paperwork. Um, it said brain tissue is watery. And kidneys are, one's larger than the other. And intestinal not fully function. And they told me, oh, it's probably just going to grow, you know, out of it. You know, it'll probably be fine. I'm like, my baby's brain is water. You know, what's going on? Well, I was 15 weeks and four days never I lost the baby. Well, what I had to do is, you know, the clinic finally found that the baby was no longer alive. Um, the brain wasn't there at all. The heart completely stopped. The baby had already passed. Um, you know, so what I had to do is insert a pill called misoprostol into my vaginal cavity. Um, I had to insert four of those pills um, to make myself dilate. In order for me to miscarry properly and to get the baby out. And let me tell you guys, that was so hard and very painful. Um, that process, I started it, I took, I inserted the pills at about 6 p.m. I went and lay down for a few hours. I couldn't eat or drink anything. I was so nauseated. And I started having severe hot flashes and cold flashes. And about 10.30, I felt like I got up and I sneezed and a bunch of water came out. I was like, oh, here we go. And my water broke. So I went and sat on the toilet. And, of course, my husband was there with me. He was by my side. My kids were asleep. Well, you know, about 10.30, 11 o'clock, I passed the fetus. Um, this is about the size of my hand or bigger. You know, I was 15 weeks and four days. And that was very hard for me to see. Um... It was very traumatic. Um, it will always haunt me to see that, you know, in my mind and hurt me. But I know, you know, that baby was already passed. Um, but it hurts. It was a little boy. Um, but about a few hours later, I passed the placenta. It was as big as my hand, or a little bigger. You know, it was like kind of like a golf ball thing. Um, it was really big. Um, after that, I passed clots and more tissue for the rest of the night and early on to the morning. About 7 o'clock in the morning, I just started bleeding like a normal period, very heavy. Today is the third day, and I'm still bleeding very heavily, you know, but no more diarrhea, no more chills or anything like that. Um, right now, I guess I'm going through the stage where my uterus cleans itself out, but um, I just wanted to tell you all guys what was going on in my life. Um, it's very traumatic and very scary and hurtful, but, um, my husband and I, we lost our daughter, our first child, you know, at 15 weeks too, um, and I've seen her like that too, but, um, it's a very traumatic thing to go through and see, and it's very painful, um, to all the women out there who have missed miscarriages and have to go through this, just know you're not alone. If you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here. I don't know how you talk, but I'm here. But yeah, um, just want to give y'all guys an update what was going on in my life. Um, I'm not going to be on that much. Um, I'm kind of just trying to heal. I'm not really able to eat anything or drink anything. I'm severely nauseated all the time and I want to throw up. But today I drank a smoothie, so that's good. But yeah, I just want to give y'all guys a life update. Bye.